Welcome to Live Well, Dream Big. I'm Suzanne Monroe, founder of the International Association of Wellness Professionals, where I've been teaching people how to live a life of wellness, tap into their passion, and go for their dreams for over 15 years. I believe living well and dreaming big starts with ourselves. This podcast will show you how to create a healthy, holistic life, empower your mindset, follow your dreams, and make a big impact. Let's dive in right now. Welcome to Live Well, Dream Big. I'm excited for today's episode. Today's episode is a special type of episode, a read aloud, where I'm going to be reading aloud from my book, Live Well, Dream Big, The Ultimate Guide to Becoming Your Best Self and Living Life on Your Own Terms. And I'm going to be sharing with you some actionable tips and tools as we go along. And really, I want to help you to avoid one of the biggest problems that I see people experiencing today. Burnout. Burnout is on the rise. People are more stressed than ever. They're experiencing overwhelm and anxiety, and all this is mounting and leading to burnout. Now, if you've heard my personal story before, then you know I'm speaking from personal experience here. So we're going to be diving into Wellness 360, which is uh, included in this book, and we're going to be looking at the specific elements that make up Wellness 360 and applying it to burnout. So you can get on with living your best life feeling more energized and living well and dreaming big. So join me right now. Hey everyone, Suzanne Monroe here. I'm excited to be reading aloud for my book, Live Well, Dream Big, The Ultimate Guide to Becoming Your Best Self and Living Life on Your Own Terms. Now I'm going to be diving into a specific element of Wellness 360 inside the guidebook to help you um, have some tips, actionable tips and tools really to support you to overcoming burnout, getting out of stress that might be coming up in your life and really get on the path to reclaiming your health and your life. Today, we're talking about the Wellness 360 element of careers. And if you're not familiar with Wellness 360 yet, you can go and get the guidebook at iawpwellnesscoach.com forward slash guide. You'll get a lot of tools to get you started with Wellness 360. Today, we're going to talk about the element of careers. Now, your health can be drastically affected by what you do every day. Some statistics say that we spend more than 90,000 hours of our lives working. Is that crazy? Our careers take up an enormous amount of hours of our lives, which means what we do matters a lot. <laughs> on the external layer of wellness, and I'll say this, there's three layers in Wellness 360 to every element. We're going to walk through the three layers for this element. The careers element is all about what we do for work every day, right? It's kind of the most basic level of the element. It's how we pay our bills. It's how we take care of our families and support ourselves. The reason we take this element so seriously in Wellness 360 is that we know it has a huge impact on our health. I've taught thousands of people how to find careers and start following their passion in life. And I've seen how it dramatically impacts their wellness. It's, it's huge. You'll hear some of the stories in this book as well. And you can consider various things about your own career path when thinking about it from a wellness perspective. Don't be afraid to dig into why you do what you do. If it's a passion driven career, even you still want to think about um, how you're balancing this element because maybe you need to create boundaries around your passion, right? But if your job is more of a functional part of your life, how do you find passion and fulfillment in other areas of your life then? In both scenarios and both types of careers and work, it's important to set boundaries so that self-care and nurturing relationships and other elements all get the attention that they deserve. Now, on the internal layer, the career element focuses on how to create work-life balance. So no matter whether you love your career or you hate it, um, it's important to find wellness and fulfillment in your life. Since careers often take up so much of our time and energy, they can be all-encompassing if we're not careful. Now, on the symbolic layer, career is a symbol of something, and it equals action and impact right? Because the action that we take every day, it truly matters. And it makes an impact not only in our own life, but in the life of those around us and sometimes those even beyond us. The more in alignment we can be with the action we take and the impact we want to make, the more this layer and the element of career will experience well-being. Now, just remember your career is about work and effort, but it doesn't have to only be about that. You can figure out how to bring in purpose and passion in ways that work for your lifestyle and your own needs. And I want to talk about some ways to balance the element of career, bring more balance to it. It's not about living in perfect balance. It's about awareness to every element. And these tips can also help you to avoid burnout. 
and get on the path to really reclaiming your health. So the first one is to evaluate your current career, right? Just take some time to take a look at it. Sit down with your current job and career path you're following. This could be a good note on for a mindfulness session at, or a journaling session, but contemplate how your current relationship with your work actually feels. Just give it a little time and energy. And then consider, do you want to explore alternate career paths? And it may not be right now, but you might say, yes, I, I really do want to at some point in my life, right? Maybe it's a couple of years from now because I know now is not the right time. Or maybe I just want to start exploring right now because I can't change careers overnight, but I want to allow myself the time to explore. You know, often the busyness, busyness of life can sweep us in directions we didn't intend to go. So often people find themselves 10 or more years in a career they didn't even consciously choose. And then all of a sudden they don't find it meaningful at all. And here's the thing, it's never too late to change things up. Okay, I've seen people do this over the last 15 plus years uh, that I've been supporting people to step into the field of wellness coaching. And people are of all ages and experiences, it's never too late. Make time also for other passions, right? Sometimes there can be this angst when we don't love our career and it doesn't fulfill our passion. And there's just like this negative relationship, but our passions don't have to come solely from our careers, right? Life is big and beautiful. It's full of amazing things to discover and enjoy. So take some time to look at other areas that you're passionate about. Taking good care of yourself along the way means making sure you're not only working as well. And finally, do a wellness 360 check as we do with every element. Make sure to look at the other elements in wellness 360 and see how they might be impacting the career element because the elements do not act alone. They're all interconnected. Even all of the three layers are interconnected. And if we just try to work on one element and kind of solve that issue, oftentimes while it can be supportive initially, it, can't, it may not uh, cause a long-term change for us because there's something else impacting it. So with careers, it could be a lot of things impacting it. For example, if our careers are out of balance, um, it could be that um, it's impacting our mindset, right? It could be that it's impacting our relationships. We're coming home every day from work just in the worst mood, right? Um, so, you know, it could impact that. It can impact the food choices we make. Uh, we're sitting at our desk all day. We don't have time. We have to eat, you know, fast food. I mean, all of these things could be happening, but the point is what's happening for you, right? How is your element of career impacting other elements and vice versa? Take a look. And why this is important is as you start to discover that interconnection and bring that awareness, you can make small shifts. This isn't about doing a million things at once. This is about taking tiny, small steps, small shifts that start to add up over time. It's not a quick fix, which usually doesn't last very long. These small shifts lead to lasting transformation. And I'll share with you, that's exactly what happened to Natalia Edelman, who really worked on her element of career. Her story is here in the guidebook. She went on a journey from stuck to success and she calls herself a recovering workaholic. workaholic. She used to let her career define who she was. And it caused her a lot of imbalances for her. It caused her to lose her sense of self, but also to have a lot of symptoms and things happening in her body. So she tells exactly what happened um, on this journey. And one day she decided to make a big change with her career. She listened to this inner feeling and she took this leap of faith, even though she didn't know how it would work out. And she says, the truth is careers can excite us or drain us. But what she now knows is this, we do have the answers from within. And if we can follow those answers, they really can lead us to some of the best uh, places. And so take a look at Natalia's story. I think you'll find it inspiring if you're working on your career element. Wherever you are, whatever element you're working on, remember, take one small step after listening in today and keep making those small shifts. We'll see you back here next time. Thank you for joining me for today's episode of Live Well, Dream Big. I hope you enjoyed today's conversation. And I want to invite you to take your next step toward living well and dreaming big by downloading the Live Well, Dream Big Lifestyle Book. It's the ultimate guide to becoming your best self and living life on your own terms. You can grab your complimentary copy by going to the link in the show notes or heading directly to iawpwellnesscoach.com forward slash guide. That's IAWPWellnessCoach.com forward slash guide.